Hey everyone, it's Michelle here. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tour of my craft room. And for those of you guys who may be new here, I am a card maker and bullet journaler. I also use to scrapbook and I dabble with drawing, it's just like all kinds of different art things. And for those of you guys who may be new here, I am a card maker and bullet journaler, but I also like to dabble in lots of different kinds of crafts, so I have a little bit of everything in my room. And this is also a shared space. I'm sure a lot of you guys may relate in not having a dedicated room just for you. So this is actually a shared space between me and my husband. He has his guitar room side over here and then I have my craft room side over here. So I just want to show you that you don't need a huge space. I kind of just have a small little half of this little room and it works fine for me. So before I get into the tour, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and like this video and let's get on with the tour. Alright, so I'm starting a little bit outside of the room right now because I just want to show you the entrance. Um, so as I said, this is a guitar room for my husband and then a craft room for me. So right before you walk in, we have a guitar hanging up here. And then we have a little thing I cross-stitched up here that has uh, one of our cats and also a guitar. I just thought it was a cute little way to show what this room is about. So here we go walking in. This is what it looks like. and. As you may be able to see, it's actually not very big at all. Sorry if this is not focusing that well, but anyway, so the part you're looking at right now, this whole side of the room is my husband's side of the room. So this is his guitar area. He has another guitar over here. And then we have this area that I really like here that's kind of like a little reading nook. So we have this nice comfy chair and then this blanket that I crocheted and poster here and then this is just his guitar stuff there's one of our cats Junie and then so you turn around and then this side is my craft space so it's kind of hard to get um, the whole space in one shot just because this is kind of a small room so I can't go very far to actually show you but let's start on this wall we have this Ikea unit that we got. It's sort of like a locker and I really like this. It has a lot of storage inside. I'll show you guys a little bit um, later. But on top of that here, I just leave my laptop charged in here for easy access. I just like having a space for my laptop because otherwise I find that it's just floating around all the time and I don't actually like to keep it on my desk because I use that for actual crafting so having a laptop there gets in the way. So I just like having a little dock area for right here. Then behind that I just have a sort of like magazine mail organizer that I got at I think it was Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those stores. And in there I have some books like lettering and sketching books, my current journals that I'm um, using for bullet journaling. I have my Kindle in here and then some artwork that my friend made for me. These are actually like calendars that she lettered. Then next to that I have some organizers for my cardstock and some pattern papers as well. These are just um, magazine organizers that hold 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I have my camera here so it's easy for me to take photos whenever I need to. A nice little sneak plant. And then I have this um, really cute, um, this was a candy tin that one of my relatives got me from France and I just thought it was really nice so I keep some like twine and washi in there um, any washi that doesn't fit on this organizer I keep it right in there and I think the box just is really cute for decoration so that stays there as well so above this locker unit we have more storage organization up here and I really love this piece. Um, I actually found this in Goodwill, this organizer. I think it used to be like a male organizer maybe, I don't know, but um, it's just a nice little wooden organizer and it's a pretty good space for these ink pads. My um, Distress inks fit really well in here, but these ones actually are a little bit tight, so I just have to put one in every other slot, but I actually don't have many ink pads, so that works out fine. And then I also have some washi tape up here. This is my personalized stamp that says Handmade by Michelle. 
And then I have some alcohol inks and Nuvo drops up here for, these are like pretty much all my card making things really. Then underneath it, we have a little DIY piece that me and Aaron, my husband made. It's very simple. Basically all I, um, all we did was we went to Home Depot and got, we got these hooks, just, you know, regular hooks for any part of your house. And then we got a dowel. And that's pretty much it. We have two hooks and a dowel and it works really well to hold all, well not all of my washi, but some of my washi up here. I just find that it's really great to have them here and I just find that I use them a lot more when they're just in an easily accessible area like that and it's also just really cute for decoration. But I couldn't fit all of my washi so some of it's up there and some of it is in that box like I mentioned. But yeah, if you are looking for a good washi storage idea on a budget, this is a really, really great and easy um, thing that you can DIY yourself. And if you have a lot, you can just do like multiple rows of that. Like if you did three rows of washi and kind of have like a washi wall, I think that would be really, really cute. And then around this piece, I just have a few pieces of decoration. I have like little things that I've made like this little cross stitch tag, this alcohol ink piece, this little lettering um, quote. And this probably will change as time goes on. I'm sure as a lot of you guys know as a crafter you um, get into different things at different times and you kind of just want to change things out a lot um, because it just keeps you inspired that way. So I just hang these up um, with washi tape so that it's easy for me to take them down and replace it with anything else that I want instead of, you know, framing it and making it a whole official thing. All right, so now I will show you inside this locker area. So let me just open both of them so you can see it is a ton of storage in here. So I really love this. So I have this wooden box in there and that just has a lot of my finished journals. I have a lot of journals in there. And then I have um, sort of like little ink cubes that I've gotten in kits and stuff. So I just have these little acrylic drawers for that. I believe I also got these drawers at TJ Maxx and I think they're like makeup drawers or actually I think I got these on Amazon. But yeah, they're actually makeup drawers but they work perfectly for these ink cubes and I have a bunch of die cuts already cut out on, in this top drawer so that I can just put together a card really quickly. I just have some random things that are just here because I didn't know where to put them. Um, you'll see that my space really is not the most organized but I tried my best to clean up a little at least. I just have these plastic drawers that I have for extra random things. Then I have stamp press and then this um, this container actually has a bunch of finished pieces that I've done, like finished alcohol ink or embossed or inking pieces. It's basically a bunch of backgrounds and whenever I want to make a card really quickly, I can just go in here and grab a background, stick a sentiment on it, and yeah, make a really quick card. So usually when I'm doing some sort of technique, I like to do multiple of that technique, maybe in different colors, and then I stick them in this box and just keep it so that I can pull it out when I am in a rush. Then I have my paper trimmer in there, my Sizzix Big Kick die cutting machine with like the accessories over here. Um, I keep my camera charger in here like plugged in. Um, the nice thing about this locker unit is it has like a little hole back there so that it's easy for you to um, plug something in and keep it plugged in all the time. I love that because it just keeps things hidden and out of sight so things don't look as cluttered. I, I hate when like things are plugged in and like all over the surface so I just love that little solution for my camera charger. Then I have a fridge bin. I think you can also get these at TJ Maxx but this one is just filled with my stamp sets. I don't have that many. This is pretty much all my stamp sets. I know this may look like a lot, but a lot of craft room people have like basically a whole shelf of stamps. So to me, this is not that much. Um, then in this one, I have uh, some embellishments in here. And then the whole, the whole back part of this is just dies. 
And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for this area. Then for my desk area, um, I have, of course, a Roscog cart from Ikea, which I'm pretty sure every craft crafter has and needs to have. I only just recently got this and it seriously is so much storage and I'm not even completely done filling it up, but it helps so much and I love that it's able to wheel around. Um, and then I have this desk. I just got it on Craigslist as well as the chair also on Craigslist because gotta save money. And then um, I have these three little cubes I've had for a really long time. They're like just nesting cubes, but I just hung them up with um, mounting tape because they're such a pain to hang. But anyway, yeah, it works fine because I don't hang anything too heavy on it. And then my desk is pulled out a little bit because as you can see, I have my ring light up there just for when I'm recording. Um, this isn't always there. Sometimes I put it away, but honestly, I'm also really lazy. So that's been up there for a few weeks just because it's kind of a pain to take it out every time I'm recording. But yeah, for now, that ring light is there. Sometimes I even use it just as my desk lamp, which is kind of overkill, but I like really bright lights. Yeah, and then let me show you my Razcog cart right now and what I have in it. All right, so this is my Razcog cart, and like I mentioned, I, um, I've only gotten this pretty recently, so this is probably gonna change, but I just threw a bunch of stuff on it. I tried to keep most of my like markers and pencils and things in here. So basically anything that's like um, a medium, I guess. So on the top here I have some colored pencils and my Zig markers, which I only have the 12 pack, but I probably need to get more because I use them a lot for card making and journaling. I have some other random markers here and I keep a lint roller here because I actually find it really handy for picking up eraser dust when I'm erasing a lot of things. I just run it over very handy to have. And then some mists, like a shimmer mist and um, a stamp cleaning mist. Then I have a little basket of um, pattern papers and stuff like that. Just a bunch of six by six pads. I need to keep these out, otherwise I don't really use them. So I like to keep them up here. And then I have this scoring board for my cards. And then I have a bunch of pre-made card bases and just like small sized cardstock, um, just for just so that when I'm making a card, I can stick it on a base really easily without having to stop and cut out the card base. I have my Missy tool since I use that all the time. And then I just have a little zip top bag of these pre-stamped images for just if I want to color something really quickly. Then on the second level, I have my Copic markers, some other random marker stuff, some pencils, and again, more random stuff. My Prismacolor pencils, these are really great. This is an old oatmeal tin because I like to reuse things. I could probably make this nicer and decorated, but I did not. Then I have some distress markers here, which I don't actually use that much, um, but I just have them there. A little watercolor palette. This is just a cheap like five dollar crafting palette from Michaels. Then down here I have a bunch of microfiber cloths. I just like to keep these handy for if I'm watercoloring or need to clean up some like embossing powder or something like that. These are great to have on hand. I have this. This is just like something for me to record with. It's um, it's like kind of like a mount for my phone. Then I have a couple of my favorite embossing powders just in um, Tupperware containers here, and then some distress ink. Okay, so for my actual desk, like I said, I got this on Craigslist, and I think my favorite thing about this desk is actually this area. So, like I mentioned, I hate when I have like wires everywhere, so I love that this, this desk has a hidden compartment here for my heat gun. It's just so great because it can be plugged in all the time. And there are some plugs here and then a USB cable as well in case I need to charge my phone. It's just so handy and I could not live without that feature. So it keeps things nice and hidden down here when I'm not using it, which is great. I think I mentioned these cubes, but I just have a couple of ink pads here. Just ones that I use pretty frequently. 
um, some little decoration pieces. These are cards that I made, but sometimes after I make a card, I really like it and I don't want to give it away yet. And I just have it up here for decoration for a little bit. Um, and then some adhesives that I also use pretty frequently. I just like to keep them um, right in arm's reach. Then I have some embossing powders up here. Just keep them handy and also because I think the colors are pretty. Okay, so here is what's in my drawers. I just have this little organizer, also from Marshalls. Basically, I get all my organization things from Marshalls, apparently. But anyway, I have some like sequins and stuff in here, and like just little embellishments, things that like I don't really know where to put them, so I kind of just put them here in hopes that I will use it. Um, I'm not very good at using them, but I just like to trick myself into thinking that if it is very within reach, I will use it. Um, I do use these a lot. These are my sequins and gems and things, and then some other random wood veneers and stuff like that. And then some basics back there, like stapler and tape dispenser. This one I have baby wipes for cleaning stamps and other things, and some other necessary tools I keep in this drawer, because it's literally my right hand drawer, so I like to keep the things I use most in here. So I have some double-sided tape, some foam tape, foam squares, post-its, um, tape runner, mounting tape, painter's tape, sharpener, you know, just basic stuff. Whatever kind of crafting you do, just keep your basic stuff in arm's reach and you will be good. I guess that's pretty much it for my crafting area. We do have this closet on the side of the room, but there's not really much in there. I'll show it to you really quickly, but it's basically just for random like apartment stuff, not even like craft or guitar things, just because it's a nice size closet, so we like to use it for storage. But in here, like I said, I do card making and bullet journaling, but I also like to do a lot of different kinds of crafting, so we kind of just use this storage for, you know, miscellaneous craft supplies that I don't use on a normal basis, but they still need a space. So for example, this top drawer just has a bunch of felt because I made a bunch of felt ornaments for Christmas and I'm planning to do that every year so I just needed a space to keep my felt. I do have some random embellishments in here as well that wouldn't fit in my normal craft storage. And then we also have office supplies and um, wrapping stuff like for presents and then a lot of like fine art supplies because we both went to art school so we have a lot of kind of art supplies that we don't use all the time but we keep them just in case but yeah that's pretty much it not really much in here i hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my craft room and that it gives you some storage ideas especially for those of you who have a smaller space like i do this room really is not that big and I only get half of it so I like to make do with what I can and um, kind of just keep the most important stuff closest to me and everything else just keep it a little organized. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.